Ambassador Ashipala Musavi says the decision to add nuclear energy to its energy mix is part of the country's infrastructural development and in line with the Swapo Party manifesto. The country seeks to leverage on its bilateral partners to explore cooperation. Such partnerships are expected to encompass multiple dimensions of nuclear cooperation including nuclear, nuclear power plants, training programs for capacity building, joint research initiatives on advanced nuclear fuels, and investment in specialized mining and processing infrastructure. This also represents a key component of NDP-6, which I know many of you attended its launch. Ashipala Musavi says the 8th administration has placed living standards and sustained prosperity at the center of government priorities. Areas such as agriculture, sports, youth empowerment, quality education and health, creative industries and others have been identified to drive growth. Increasingly and in line with the Sustainable Development Goals, we are all placing the welfare of our people at the center of our work by optimizing economic diplomacy. Namibia is no different. And this is most part informed the decision of Her Excellency the President, Dr. Netumbo Nandin Daitwa, President of the Republic of Namibia, to merge the portfolios of international relations with trade and investment. This was also to ensure better coordinated synergies in the pursuit of our economic diplomacy, while at the same time promoting regional and continental economic integration and enhancing opportunities offered by the African continental free trade area. Ashipala Musavi also announced that the ministry will introduce regional diplomatic outreach with the aim to explore the cultural diversity and the economic competitiveness of each region. The diplomatic corps also proposed regular group consultations labeling the priorities under NDP-6 as mutually beneficial for Namibia and their respective countries. It's a very clear program. It's a program where all of our missions should try to be part of it. So as a diplomatic group, and I'm sure Ambassador Loria will follow on this, us diplomats, we need to have more regular meetings for our diplomatic corp. Maybe we should look into having it fixed two or three times a year and invite Her Ex Excellency the Minister and the capable team of Mert to attend, to enrich the dialogue. The diplomatic briefing was the first since Minister Ashipala Musavi was appointed into the portfolio in March this year.